find the point on x axis which is equidistant from the area 2 comma minus 5 and minus 2 comma 9. Find the point on x axis which is of equidistant from the 2 comma minus 5 and minus 2 comma 9. Here we all know that the point on x axis is in the form of x comma 0. So I am supposing that P x comma 0 is the required point and I am supposing the first point 2 comma minus 5 at the point K and second point minus 2 comma 9 at the point B and P is the point is which is of equal distance from the point A and the point B that means distance between the P and A that is of P A is equal to distance between the P and B P B that means P A is equal to PB. This is an equation which is very uh, which plays very important role in this uh, solving this uh, solution. And here I am going to make use of one, one more important formula that is a distance formula. When the two points x one comma y one and x two comma y two are given, then distance between them will be obtained by using this formula. That is a under root of y two minus y one the whole square plus x two minus x one the whole square by using this. P A then I'm supposing that P X comma zero I'm supposing as an X one Y one A two comma minus five I'm supposing as an X two Y two by applying this formula distance formula this I can write it as P A I can write it as an Y two minus Y one the whole square means minus five minus zero the whole square plus X two minus X one the whole square means two minus X the whole square is equal to under root of P B P B in the sense P P B is in uh, X one Y one B is in uh, uh, X two Y two so Y two minus Y one that means um, nine minus zero the whole square nine minus zero whole square plus minus two minus X the whole square and this I can write it as an uh, five the whole square, under root of five square plus uh, two minus X whole square is equal to nine minus zero is nine nine square plus of uh, on taking minus as a common, this I can write as an minus of x plus so two plus the x the whole square. Now I am obtaining the squaring on the both sides. Why I am obtaining the squaring on the both sides means to remove the square root on the both sides. So I apply square root on squaring on the both sides so that I can cancelize the square root and this I can elaborate it as an uh, 4 plus x square minus 4x by using a minus b whole square formula. I, I wrote it as a noun 4 plus x square minus 4 4 x and 5 square minus x that's why we got a 25 plus 4 plus x square minus 4 x similarly 9 square is 81 and on I'm elaborating it I can write it as a 4 plus x square plus 4 x square now here after calculation after cancellation square root we can we get this equation as a 29 from where we got 29 means 25 plus 4 29 29 plus x square minus 4x is equal to 85 plus x square plus 4x now both sides x square terms are there and they are having same sign at our past two so we can cancel it you may get a doubt both sides are having 4x but uh, here on lhs 4x uh, and a negative sign or rhs and 4x contains past two sign that means they are having different signs so this cannot be cancelled okay so this i can write it as a 29 minus 4x is equal to 85 plus 4x and transporting this 4x to other hand it becomes negative 4x and similarly i'm supposing i'm transporting this uh, plus 29 to other hand of this equation so that it becomes negative so from this we can write it as a already we have 4x 4x minus 4x is equal to 85 minus 29 that is uh, minus 8x is equal to 56 x is equal to 56 by minus 8 so on simplifying this x value will get it as an uh, minus 7 x value will get it as a minus 1 then our required point p x comma 0 is minus 7 comma 0 is the our required point